What's going on YouTube? This is Big Pencil coming at you again with another. I hope everybody's doing well in this time of panic and whatnot that we got going on in this country. Excuse the limbs in the way. You know, it's it's crazy. The way the world's going right now, it don't look too good for us, but you know, it is what it is. I think we'll be all right in the long run. I think they're making a whole lot bigger deal out of this thing than it really is. It ain't no worse than the flu, and it's been around for, my God, a thousand years, seems like. But, you know, they can classify it whatever they want to classify it as. I look at it as pretty much as a dang flu. And, you know, it. I've been on this earth for 29 years, and I have yet to catch the flu. I ain't never had a flu shot. And I ain't, I've been fine, you know, I got a good immune system, I'm, I'm all right. You know, older folks is a little different, but it is what it is. But, you know, hope everybody's doing well in this time of crisis that we are going through right now. I, I had to get out of the house, I, you know, they laid us off last week. And so I've been out of work all week long, been trying to keep myself busy with a little side things and trying to go turkey hunting a little bit i hadn't had much luck between that and i did i come out here on the river today to do a little fishing and you know it's not time to fish down here but i had to get out of the house and do something and i can guarantee you i am not going to santee cooper to fight a thousand people trying to put in it at one public landing I had a friend of mine tell me he, he had to wait 45 minutes to uh, be able to put in at a little landing that he was going to put in at just to, you know, cruise around and just spend a day on the lake. And, you know, that's ridiculous. They done shut down all the public landings around here, so you got to put in at private places. And, and yeah, you could probably get in there and catch some shell crackers. They're bedding up pretty good right now, but it ain't worth it to me to go out and fight the crowd. I don't care that much about catching all them fish. You know, I like to come to the Edisto. I've seen four or five people on the river today. I've been here about three hours, and that's all I've seen. And I like it that way. You know, I like secluded areas. I don't want to get out there on all them big party barges like all them yahoos. They the main reason why we got shut down in the first place as far as the lake goes. You know, you could pull up to a sandbar and you got 300 head of people on it after the government done told you to, you know, separate yourselves, keep from spreading this virus, and they ain't listen. So, yeah, they got shut them down. And I don't blame them. You know, they trying to do what they're trying to do. You can't do that when you got three, 400 head of people wanting to pile up on a sandbar and, and drink and all kinds of stuff. But, you know, what can you do? But I have caught enough uh, two of us to eat for dinner tonight. Show you what I got. I have got a a catfish, maybe a two, yeah, two and a half pound old channel cat. He'll eat good. And I've also got this old big old jumbo red breast. The old big red booby brim. That one there is going to be mine. I'm going to eat this one. So, that's a good fish too. I like to catch them like that. Big old, big old rooster red breast. But, you know, I figured I'd, you know, touch base with you. Let everybody know that I'm A-OK. -okay. Hope y'all are doing well as, you know, as well. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I wish the fish was biting a little more, but, you know, it is what it is. That's all I've caught is them two. Fishing with a little worm, a little night crawl on the bottom, and a, a cricket. I caught the red breast on a cricket and the catfish on a night crawler. So, you know, it, we, we fish this river a lot during the summertime, you know, heat of the summer. When this, low, when this water gets real low, it'll be prime time. We'll be catching plenty of fish down here then. But I think I'm about to call it a day. I've been out here for about three hours or so. And that's all I've caught. 
but I just wanted to get out of the house was the main thing. This landing ain't but about 10 minutes from my house, so it works out pretty well. I can come down here and fish, you know, don't cost a whole lot to go do it. And, uh, you know, I have a good time, even if I'm by myself. This is Big Pencil, and we will be back with another one soon.